Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, hello, Margarita. Hello, Sara. Hello, Oscar. Hello, Andrea. Hello, Brian. Hello, here. teacher. Hello, Luis. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you tonight? How are you tonight? No, no, to answer. How are you? How are you tonight? Tell me. Hello, can you listen to me? Let me know, please, if you can listen to me. Okay, Andrea Maria says, I'm fine. That's nice. Thank you so much. Hello, Alejandra. Welcome to the class. Adriana, welcome. <laughs> Guys, let me know if you can listen to me, please. Can you listen to me? I listen. Ah, okay, thank you so much. So yesterday we were studying about intonation. Uh, it was, let me see, what is the chocolate? Nothing about the teacher. Okay, Luis, and I'm fine. So yesterday we were studying intonation in questions. So if it is just no question, do we have a rating intonation or a falling intonation? Do you remember that? So we start yes, no questions. Okay, here is the problem. I can listen. Hey, teacher. You listen to me. Yes, Luis, welcome to the class. Uh, so, okay, okay. Uh, let us Thank start you. with tonight's class. Welcome again to this class. Thank you so much for your punctuality. Uh, let's start. Uh, yesterday we were studying uh, intonation, right? Raising intonation and foreign intonation in yes, no question, and also in information questions. And also we are studying likes and dislikes too, right? Which things do you like and which things you don't like? And tonight we're going to study the topic invitation, right? asking, accepting, and refusing invitation. Los invitan seguido a salir. A donde los invitan con más frecuencia? Al yes. cine, a la playa. Yes. Um, restaurant. Ah, to eat out in a restaurant. And pay the, the bills, teacher. <laughs> No, okay, los invitan a pagar. <laughs> you pay the bill. It's market. Okay, it's market. like I invite you and you are going to pay. I pay, yes. And you are going to pay the bill. <laughs> okay, that happened, right? Eso sucede a veces, right? Siempre anden un dinerito extra por ahí, ¿verdad? No va a ser que se queden lavando trastes yes. en algún restaurante. O haciendo la limpieza. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, eh, ¿a dónde más nos invitan? To the beach. To the beach? Yes. Ah, okay, y siempre dicen yes. Of I course. Love I love Algún, it. Okay, ¿Y cuando les toca decir no, no le dicen una mentira? Sometimes. <laughs> ah, sometimes, right? Um, tenemos que ser corteses, ¿verdad? Y a veces no. Yes. No, ¿por qué? Porque no quiero ir. No, ¿verdad? No quiero ir contigo. No, no somos así, ¿verdad? Siempre tenemos que dar una razón porque no podemos. You say, I have English classes. You say, that is one excuse, right? I have English classes. 
¿Cuál sería otra buena excusa cuando no quieren salir con alguien que los ha invitado? No quieren aceptar una invitación. I am sick. Ah, ok. There is a good one. I don't feel well. I'm sick. I don't feel well, yes. Ok. I I'm don't sick. feel well. I'm sick. ¿Cuál sería otra excusa? ¿Qué otra excusa han utilizado? Ah, take care of my grandmother. Ah, okay. Eh, I have to take care of my grandmother. Y la pobre abuelita ya falleció hace como cinco años. I have to take care of my... Eh, ah, I'm tired. I'm tired. Estoy cansado. I'm tired. Estoy cansado en este momento. I'm studying. Ah, okay. I'm studying English. Yes, that is a good excuse. I have classes. I have English classes tonight. I'm sorry. Eh, any other excuse? ¿Qué otra excusa han utilizado para decir no, no quiero ir? Any other? Ah, ya veo que son muy sinceros, no son mentirosos ustedes. That's good. Very good. So tonight we're going to, is to study this would, the auxiliary would, would like, the, that expression. So, do you have any question about the platform exercises? Any problem? No, any teacher. Any doubt? Any difficult exercise? No problem. No problem with the platform. Uh, let me know in which section are you working on. In which section on the platform are you working on? In which section? Section two, section uh, three, four, five. Ni me acuerdo de eso, teacher. Hace como una sí. semana que es el final exam. Section 5. Ah, oh, Florcita, say section 5. Section 4. Anyone? Okay. Don't forget, please, that it's really important that you complete the platform exercises. Don't forget about that. So let's start with tonight, class. Let's go with this. This is the topic for tonight. Asking, accepting, and refusing invitation. Okay. Asking, accepting, and refusing invitation. A no todas las invitaciones le decimos yes. So this is the objective for tonight, right? In this lesson, you are going to learn to use wood uh, for invitation, right? And by the end of the lesson, you are going to comprehend the use of wood in question and also in answers. So let's start with this. Let's start with this conversation. Let's listen and practice this conversation. An invitation, that is the title of this conversation. So look at the picture, which sport is it? Which sport is it? Soccer. soccer. Ah, okay, soccer, and what is the name of the two teams? Frogs, Frogs and ducks. And ducks. Ah, okay, frogs and ducks. Okay. Is it a good name for a soccer team? Excellent name. It's an excellent name, Margarita said. Los sapos y los patos. Y los patos. <laughs> ¿A quién apoyarían? ¿A cuál mapo con? <laughs> the, the frogs. The Okay, now let's listen to this small conversation. Here we go. Let me know. Please. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Can you listen here? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay. Yes. yes. Okay, here we go again. Thank you. Just a second. Where is this? Here we go. I hear this in sound. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay. 
Let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Any new vocabulary in this small conversation? Any new word? <sighs> no new words? What is the meaning of soccer match, for example? Soccer match. You say soccer match. Okay, what is the meaning of the question, would you like to go? Would you like to go? Te gustaría ir. Ah, okay, excellent. Would you like to go? Things, and what is the meaning of I'd? I love to. I love to. Me gustaría. Okay, it's like, me, me gustaría. gustaría. Me encantaría. Me gustaría. What time does it start? What time does it start? ¿A qué hora comienza? ¿A qué hora comienza? At okay, excellent. So at eight. At eight. At eight. Uh, that sounds great. That sounds great. So do Esto you want to have bien. a Eso suena genial. Okay. Suena grandioso. Suena genial. So do you want to have dinner at six? Te gustaría. Cenar a las seis. Okay, so mm, I'd like to, but I like Me gustaría, to, pero... but I have to work late. I have to work late. Okay, y aquí vienen las excusas, ¿verdad? I have to work late. Tengo que trabajar hasta tarde. I have to work late. I have to study English. I am very tired. Uh, I have to take care of my grandmother. I have to take care of my pet. So, aquí van las excusas, right? This was the I like to, but ahí va porque no. Uh, oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match. Around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. What is the meaning of that? Okay, let's meet at the gate. Smith. Ok, nos reunimos. Nos reunimos en, en el portón. Ajá, ok, okay. en el portón o en entrada. En entrada. That sounds fine. See you there. Eso suena. That sounds bien. fine. Bien. Eso suena, suena bien. bien. Suena See bien. you there. See Pero you there. Bien. Ahí nos vemos. Nos vemos ahí. Okay. Ahí nos vemos. Don't yeah. forget your frog t-shirt. Don't forget your frog t-shirt. Yeah, so let's listen again and pay attention to the pronunciation ring and intonation too. Don't forget about the, about those things because they are important. Intonation and pronunciations. Here we go. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At eight o'clock. That sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at six? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, any other question about this conversation? If you don't have any other question, I need two volunteers to practice in this conversation. Who wants to participate tonight? Hey, teacher. Thank you, Luis. Me, Luis teacher. And... Me, teacher. Uh, can you please tell me your name? Margarita, and... Margarita. Okay, thank you, Margarita. So let's listen, Luis and Margarita. Uh, okay. Margarita, you are Susan. So Luis, you are they. Okay. I have ticket to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I love it too. What time does it start? At eight. That's so great. So do you want to have dinner at six? Mm, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just make it at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay. 
let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, thank you so much. Like ticket. I have tickets. tickets. I have tickets. So would you like to go? Would you like to go? Would, would you like to go? Things. Things. That sounds great. That sounds great. I I I like to. I like to, but I have to work late. That's okay. That's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium. So thank you so much, Luis and Margarita. You did an excellent job in this part. Thank you. Any to volunteer to practice in this conversation? Me, Me teacher, teacher Oscar. Alejandra. Okay, Oscar and Alejandra. Oscar and Alejandra. So Oscar, you are day. Alejandra, you are Susan. You can start practicing. Oscar, you can start. Okay. I have I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I love to. What time does it start? Oscar? At eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Es que se me, se me corta, teacher. Escucho cortado. No, no. At eight o'clock. That sounds great. So, do uh, you want to have dinner at six? Oh, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, thanks. Okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around seven thirty. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, thank you so much. How do you pronounce these? At the second one. I'm sorry. I click. Here we go. How do you pronounce these? At six. Okay, at six. At six o'clock. And the other one? Around seven? Around seven thirty. Thirty, okay. Around 30. seven thirty. And very good, so very good job. Thank you, Oscar. Thank you, Alejandra. Thank you so much. Let's go with the next thing here. And look at this. Uh, would you like to go out on Friday? So we are going to use this expression, would you like to go, to ask someone, right? uh, to make an invitation, to invite someone, to do something. Let's see, would you like to go out on Friday? What is the meaning of this question? Would you like to go out on Friday? Um, What's the meaning of this? Te gustaría salir. Yes, when? Mm. Te on gustaría Friday. salir el viernes. Yes. Ah, okay. It means tomorrow, right? Would you like to go out on Friday? So you have here this option. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. I would. Yes, I love to things. Yes, I really like to go. So you can use this option to say yes, right? Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to things. Yes, I really like to go. And let's look at the other question. Would you like to go to a soccer match? The coming weekend? Would you like to go to a soccer match? Te gustaría ir a ver un partido de fútbol. Yes, so on Saturday or Sunday? ¿Cuál sería su respuesta? Would you like to go to a soccer match? Yes, I will. Okay, so yes, I would. Would is the pronunciation of this word. Okay. Would. would. Yes, I would. And then for this question, would you like to go to a soccer match? We have here... Um, 
I'd like to, but. So we can use this expression to refuse this invitation, to refuse this invitation to say no rent. I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. So we use this, I'd like to, and but. but. And here we, we say the reason, right? The reason why we can't, why we can't accept the invitation. So okay. in this first case, I have to work late. Tengo que trabajar hasta tarde. I need to save money. Oh, I'm sorry, necesito guardar dinero, ahorrar dinero. I want to visit my parents. Quiero visitar a mis padres Familias. y parientes. Familias. Parents. No, is it parents? Parientes. Oh. Padres. Padres. Oh, in this work, we are talking about our mother and our father. So parents. Padres. Parents. Yes. Parents. It means padres. Papá y mamá. I like to, but I want to visit my parents. So look at this contraction. In las tres respuestas está esta contracción. I, I, it's equal, or it means I, I would. would. I would. I would. So let's listen to this example. Let's listen then. Would. Can you listen? Yes. 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 Would. Verb plus two plus verb. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Yes, I'd really like to go. Would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Okay. Contraction. I'd equals I would. Okay, do you have any question nowadays? No question. No question? Okay, then let's listen to Luis. Luis, can you please invite, uh, let's see, Sarah. Can you please invite Sarah to the soccer match? Okay. Sarah, would you like to go a uh, soccer match? Yes, I'd like to, but I, I have to work late. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. But, uh, um, salude la primero, right? Greet, greet Sarah first. So, hello, Sarah, good evening. Would you like to go to a soccer match? Let's start again, okay. please. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Sarah. How are you? Would you like to go to a soccer match? <laughs> yeah. It's like too, but um, I have to work late. Okay. Continue okay. from all. Or oh, it's uh, like too, but I need to sell money. Okay. That's a good reason, right? I like to, but I need to save right. money. That's excellent. Okay, okay, now let's listen. Alejandra is going to invite Noemi to go out on Friday. Can you please, Alejandra? Okay, teacher, but pronunciation is what? Well, it's wood. 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 Okay, and, um, perdón, ¿en quién me dijo? ¿Con quién? With Noemi. Okay, hello, Noemi. Good Hi, day. I'm fine, thank you, Erika. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Okay, that was excellent, thank you. Let's listen to Jose Luis. Would. Inviting verb to plus two America. plus verb. Okay. Inviting to America to the soccer match. 
Good evening, Emerita. Good evening. Would, would you like to go to a soccer match? I like, but need to see money. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Very good. Any other volunteer to practice? Teacher. Teacher, okay. Oscar. Yeah. Okay, Teacher. Wendy, can you please invite Teacher. Oscar? Yes. Eh, sería incorrecto entonces, por ejemplo, ahí en las respuestas. Not, I could not. Eh, no, I wouldn't. Um, yes, grammatically it's correct, right? But it mm -hmm. isn't polite. It isn't uh, polite to say, no, I wouldn't. It's like rude. It sounds like rude to say, no, I wouldn't. No, I would not. Right? No, I would not. So it's better to say an answer like this one, right? Mm -hmm. uh, to make it more kind, right? more, more polite. Right? This, para que sea más educado, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Que no suene tan fuerte. No, I wouldn't. It's como, no, no quiero. Okay. Es un no diplomático. Oh, yes, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. En inglés y okay. en Spanish tenemos que hacer de esa manera, ¿verdad? No ser tan, tan fuertes con nuestras respuestas. Ok, thank you. Very good question, thank you. Any volunteer? No volunteers. Now your own answer. Su propia respuesta. Would you like to go out on Friday? Let me choose someone. Brian, Brian and Steve, would you like to go out on Friday? What? Repeat me. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Okay. Carmen Diaz, would you like to go to a soccer match? I I like I like to but I have to do work late. Okay, I like to but I have to work late. Okay. Then I'm going to my Betty. Betty, would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, it's a lot to things. Okay. So Margarita, would you like to go to a soccer match? Um, I do like to, but I want to visit my parents. Okay. Then let's see, Rocio, would you like to go out on Friday? I'd like to, but I have to rest. Okay, very good answer. Maria Consuelo, would you like to go to a soccer match? Ahí sí que me quedé corta, ticha, no entiendo nada. <risa> ah, ok. Um, so soccer match, ¿qué quiere decir? Un partido de fútbol. The question is, would you like to go to a soccer sí, me, match? ¿Le gustaría, gustaría ir a un partido de fútbol? Oh, I like, I like soccer match. Ah, ok. That is a good answer too. I like soccer match. But in this case, to accept the invitation because it's an invitation. The question is, would you like to go to a soccer match? It's an invitation. So to accept the invitation, you need one of these answers. Para aceptar esa invitación, usted necesita una de las tres respuestas que están acá. Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Yes, I'd really like to go. Cualquiera de estas tres puede utilizar para aceptar esa invitación. Y ah. para, para decir no, ¿verdad? To refuse the invitation, puede utilizar cualquiera de estas tres. Bueno, ah, y perfecto. puede agregar aquí razones, ¿verdad? La expresión sería I like to, but. Y ya de acá usted pone la razón que, que quiera decir, ¿verdad? O la excusa, the excuse. Sí, sí, I like to, but I have to 
clean my house. I have to take care of my baby. Uh, anything you can add here in this part. So again, I'm going to ask you the question again. Would you like to go to a soccer match? I like to, but uh, I have to vaccinate uh, the cow. Okay, I have to vaccinate some cows. Okay, so you have to work. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now let's see what is in the chat. I like to, but I have to, but I have English classes. I'm so sorry. Okay, that is good to me. So we can say, I'm sorry to, I'm sorry, I I'm sorry. can't. I can't. This is de una manera más informal. But I'm sorry, I can't. Lo siento, no puedo. I'm sorry, I can't. Thank you, Andrea Mariel. Thank you so much. She's writing on the chat. So let's go with the next. Let's take a look of the yes structure for accepting this invitation. So look at this structure. For accepting, we're going to use this structure. Subject, would, verb, to, uh, another verb, and complement. So look at this. I would like to go to her new house. I would like to go to her new house. I would love to go to her new house. So you can use this structure to answer. I would like to go to her new house. I would love to go to her new house. ¿Cuál creen que era la pregunta acá? Si esas son las respuestas, si está aceptando la invitación, what was the question? Would you like, would you like to go to my new house. Ah, okay. Very good. So it's good. You like, like to, go to, to go to my my new house. house. Okay. Would you like to go to my new house? So yes, I would like to go to her new house. Her new house. Ah, then uh, would you like to go to her sería acá? La casa de ella. Would you like to go to her new house? Me gustaría ir a la casa nueva de ella. Would you like to go to her new house? And say, yes, I would yes. like to go to yes, her sir. new house. Okay. okay. Then let's go. The structure for refusing an invitation is the next one. For refusing an invitation, we are going to use this structure. Subject, would, bear, to, plus the verb, and but, comma, but, and you are going to add here the reason. So I love to go to her new house, but, but I can't. I can't. I would like to go to her new house, but I can't. So we can say, but, after, but, después de but, podemos poner la razón. Yo no puedo. Y aquí respondemos por qué. Por qué no podemos. Escribimos una razón. So look at the following example. Would you like to, it's to invite someone. And it's equal to, do you want to? Es como, ¿quieres? Would you like to go out for dinner on Saturday? I would love to. Would you like to join to our English conversation club? I would like to. So in this, Bob and Swear are accepting the invitation. Ambas respuestas están aceptando la invitación. Invitación. Any volunteer to practice in these two examples, please? Me ready. Thank you, Betty. And any other volunteer? Betty and Emerita. Emerita. So you can start, Betty, please. Hi, Emerita. Good evening. Would you like to go out? Good evening, Betty. Saturday? I would like. I would love. Hay ropa, Carlita. Sí. 
Would you like to join to our English conversation club? I would to. Okay, excellent. I would like to. Let's see the next. We are going to do this question. Just give me a second. Here is this question. Look at the following invitation. The first one. Would you like to come to my birthday party? What is your answer? Your answer. Would you like to come to my birthday party? Yes, I like to. Okay. Yes, I like to. Any other answer? Would you like to come to my birthday party? Yes, I really like to go. Thank you so much. Very good answer. Any other one? Would you like to come to my birthday party? When? Oh, when? <laughs> <laughs> On March eh, 20. Okay. On March 20th. I like to, I like to, but I, I want to visit my parents. Okay, very good answer. Thank you. Any volunteer to read the second invitation? Would you like to take a picture? Would you like to take a picture? Okay, le gustaría tomarse una foto? Would you like to take a picture? With the group, would you like to take a picture? How do you accept or do you refuse the invitation? Como se dice, no ando peinada. Can you please repeat your question? <laughs> How do you say, no ando, ando despeinada? Ah, okay, you say, I haven't brushed my hair yet. I haven't combed my hair yet. I haven't combed my hair. I haven't. So you say, I haven't combed haven't. my hair. My hair. Oh, I haven't brushed. No me cepillado el cabello. I haven't brushed my hair. Okay. Entonces sería, I like to, but I haven't combed my hair. Okay, excellent answer. Thank you. So you refuse the invitation. Uh, would you like to take a picture with the group? Any other answer? Help me. I would like to, but okay. I don't wear appropriate clothes. Ah, okay. I'm... I'm not wearing. Yeah. I'm not wearing appropriate not wearing clothes. Appropriate clothes right? or formal clothes. Yeah, or formal uh, clothes. Yes. Formal clothes. Any other answer? Would you like to take a picture with your classmate? How do you say photogenico or photogenica? Um, um, that is a good question. Photogenico. That is a difficult word. Photogenic. Let me look for that. Let me see if I can find it. Photogenic. Photogenic. Let me see. Yes, it is photogenic. Yes. Okay. Or look at I would like to, but I'm not photogenic. Ah, okay. Um, I'm not sure if that is a good excuse, but the sentence is okay. I'm not photogenic. Uh, would you like to go to a concert next weekend? Would you like to go to a concert next weekend? What is your answer? Would you like to go to a concert next weekend? Yes, I would. Oh, yes, I would. Any other answer? What concert? 
I'm not so sure. Let's say. <laughs> la Sonora Dinamita. La, la Sonora Dinamita concert. La Orquesta San Vicente. I like to, but I don't like La Sonora Dinamita. Okay, very good. I don't like La Sonora Dinamita. Any other answer? I we like to, but have to cook the dinner. Ah, okay, very good. Me too, but I haven't been paid yet. <laughs> ah, okay, so I would like to, but I have to say money, or I don't have money. Oh, yes, it really like to cook. Okay, yes, I really like. Any other answer? Would you like to go to a concert next weekend? So you can use these phrases to answer. Don't forget about them. Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Yes, I'd really like to go. And for refused invitation, I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I need to say money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. So let's go with the next question. Would you like to go dancing? Would you like to go dancing? Yes. yes. It's really like. Yes, okay. I love to dance. Okay. Yes, I like. Yes, I'd really, I really like to go. Yes, I'd love it. I love it. Uh, would you like to go to a soccer match? Barcelona versus Real Madrid. Would you like no, to go to a soccer match? No, I don't. No. Yes, I would like this. <laughs> Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Yes. And the last one, would you like to go to the movies? Would you like to go to the movies? I would too, but I don't have money. Okay. Yes, I really like. Okay, yes, I really like to go. Okay, good. Don't forget about this answer in this question. So can you please write three invitations? Uh, write, write, uh, write down, please, three invitations. So use would. You can use some of this example if you want. Choose three of this question. So would you like, would you like to? Would you like to go? Hey, would you like to go to the park? Would you like to go to the park? That would you like to go one. to the beach? Would you like to go to the beach? Would you like to go to the beach? Would you like to go to the woods? To the? Woods? Bosque? Ah, to the forest. Would you like forest. to go to the forest? forest? Would you like to go to the forest? Would you like to go to the mountain? mountain. Would, you like to come? Would you like to go to the planes de renderos? Would you like to go to El Boquerón Volcano? Would, would you like you to like... go to the La Palma? Yes, would you like to go to La Palma, Chalatenango? Yes. How Would do you, you say fiestas patronales? Well, then. Uh, can you please repeat? Fiesta, fiesta patronales. Oh, you see, um, fiestas patronales, you say festivities. Country. It's like town, town mm -hmm. festivity. Town. Local, obviously, local. Local festivities, too. 
local festivity. Yes. Would you like to go to local festival in San Jose next week? In San Jose. Ah, yes, next week, right? Catholic Church is celebrating San Jose, right? On March 19th, I guess. So, are you ready? Do you have your three invitations? ¿Ya escribieron sus tres invitaciones? Yes. Yes? Okay, can you mention some of them, please? Can you mention some of them? Any volunteer to read his or her invitations? Would you like to go to the supermarket with me? Okay, excellent. That is a good invitation. Would, would you like to go to the Huayua? Oh, would you like to go to Huayua? Would you like to, to go to the park? Would you like to go to the park? Okay. So, thank you so much. Don't forget about the answer, right? Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Yes, I'd really like to. I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. So you are going to use this answer. Va a necesitar estas respuestas para contestarle a sus compañeros. A continuación, vamos a trabajar en small group, in the breakout rooms, and you are going to ask, uh, or you are going to invite your classmates. You are going to invite your classmates, so they have to accept or refuse the invitation. Is it clear? Yes. Yes? Okay. So yes. Let's see. Tonight we're... Okay, here we go. Uh, you are going to have like five minutes to complete this activity. So practice a lot. See you in five minutes. Jose Luis, do you have a problem to enter to the breakout rooms? Ah. Hello, Ingrid, do you have a problem to enter to the breakout room? Sí, me sacó, no sé. Entré y salí, no sé qué pasó. Ah, okay. Let me assign to your group again. Let's try again. Hello, Carmen. What happened? Carmen? Hello? Hello? 
Hello, Carmen, can you listen me? Carmen, can you listen? Yes, I would like some great. Okay. Would you like to go to La Guadalupe? Yes, I would like. I love it. Okay. Okay, solo falta Brian. Uh, <laughs> would you like to go to the beach on Saturday. I would like, but I need a uh, rest. I would like eat that time until morning. Any other invitation? Would you like to? Huh? Would you like to go to the park on Wednesday? I would like, but I haven't been in my house. <laughs> No, did you finish? En eso estamos, Picho. <laughs> Ah, ok, muy good. Ok, Alejandra, can you tell, tell us one of your invitation, please? Ok, would you like to go see a basketball game on Sunday? Ok, would you like to go to a basketball game? Eh, what is an answer, Rocío? What is your answer, uh, sir? I'd really like to. Okay, excellent. And Maria Consuelo? Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Okay, now let's listen to Rocio. Rocio, can you tell us one of your invitation, please? Would you like to go to the cinema? Alejandra, what is your answer? I, I like to, uh, but I had money ah, okay i'd like to but i don't have money okay so instead of saying i don't have money you can say i need to say money it's much better right it's my word to say quiero guardar dinero que no tengo pero soy sincera no tengo da menos pena no que necesito ahorrar no no tengo and Maria, what is your answer? Would you like to go to the movies or to the cinema? I would. Uh, yes, I would uh, like to cinema. Okay, yes, I would like to the cinema. Oh, yes, I would. Good. Teacher, eh, una pregunta, yes. digamos, en el caso, no sé si está bien esta oración. Would you like to go clean 
the Ilamatepec volcán this weekend? Ah, en el solo el verbo climb tiene que yeah, ser con okay. ing. Sí, uh, would you like to go climbing? Would you like to go climbing? Climbing de Ilamatepec. De Ilamatepec volcano. Volcano. Would you like to go climbing? De Ilamatepec volcano. So, what's your answer, Rocío? Y la Matepec es Santa. Ay. Yes. Yes. Tell me, Rocío. Tell I me like, I like to, but um, me da miedo las alturas. Um, <laughs> I'm scared. Um, no sé. I'm scared of high. I'm scared of high. I'm scared of high. Okay. Hey, Maria. Would you like to go climbing the Ilamatepec volcano tomorrow? Yes, I like. Yes, I like. Okay. Yes, I like. Very good answer. Thank you. Ilamatepec is in Santa Ana. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, you are doing a very good job. See you with the rest of your classmate in a minute. Bye. 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 Hello, Carmen. Couldn't you enter to your breakout room? Hello, welcome again to the class. How was your practice? Did you finish asking, accepting, and refusing invitation? Did you finish? I finished, yes. teacher. Yes, I finished. Ah, okay, how was your practice? Was it interesting? Was it good? Was it bored? How was your practice? It's good. Was it? Okay, so let's listen Daisy uh -oh. invitation. Daisy, can you please read your invitations? Yes, I visit Guatemala. <laughs> ah, okay, would you like to visit Guatemala? What is your answer? Let's see, what is your answer, Rocio? Would you like to visit Guatemala tomorrow? Yes, I really like her. <laughs> Okay, thank you. And Sarah, can you please invite, can you please say your invitations? Uh, uh, yes, museum, museum, no puedo, no lo puedo pronunciar. Wait, ¿Puede leer sus invitaciones, las que le hizo a sus compañeros? Um, um, Invite um, a dancing. Ah, then the question I, is, would you like to go dancing? Yes, este, uh, yes, a dancing. Um, okay, thank you, Sara. So, would you yeah. like to go dancing, Florcita? Yes, I love it. Ah, okay, I love yes, it. I loved it. Yes, I love it. Uh, Jose Luis, can you please tell me one of your invitation? Uh, would you like to go to the beach? Thank you. So what's your answer, Adriana Guerra? Would you like to the beach? Would yes. It's a like. Okay, yes, I'd really like. Okay, so would you like to go to the beach? Thank you. Let me see, would you like to go fishing on Saturday? Would you like to go fishing on Saturday? What's your answer? Yes, I like. 
Okay, so yes, I like. Yes, I like. Any other answer? Would you like to go fishing to a pool or lake? A pool or lake? I really like. I really like to. Ah, okay, interesting. And then Alejandra has one invitation for you. Would you like to go climbing to the Isla Matepec volcano the next Sunday? What's your answer? Would you like to go climbing the Isla Matepec volcano? What's your answer? ¿Les gustaría ir a escalar ese volcán? What's your answer? Yes, I would. Oh, yes, I would. Thank you so much. Very good answer. So let's see, do you have any question about tonight's class? Using would for asking, accepting, and also refusing invitation. And do you have any question? No, teacher. No question at all? No question. Okay, that's great. I hope that this topic is clear. So today is Thursday. I'm going to see you until Monday. So enjoy your weekend, rest a lot, but please don't forget about the platform, right? It is important okay. that you complete your exercises and evaluation, right? So don't do it at the end of the course. Don't do it at the end of the course, right? No lo deje al final, ¿verdad? Y una noche antes va a estar ahí desvelándose para terminar la plataforma. So, vamos haciéndola despacio poco a poco. And don't forget about the WhatsApp group, right? In some cases, um, I was busy, right? When, uh, when you send your message or your question, but please be a little bit patient, right? Um, I'm going to help you, of course, right? But be patient. Tengo un poquito de paciencia. A veces me llegan los mensajes y I am busy, right? So, pero en lo que he podido les he ayudado, ¿verdad? A los que si puedo les respondo en el momento. Los demás, hagan una esperita. Y si no, ahí están los compañeros, ¿verdad? Siempre hay alguien dispuesto a ayudar. Y eso es muy bueno. Gracias a los que han... Gracias a los que han ayudado, ¿verdad? En el grupo. Sigamos así, ¿verdad? Sigamos así. Recuerden que somos un grupo. Y tenemos que apoyarnos entre nosotros. Erika, do you have a question? Sí, una pregunta. No sé para los compañeros que ya terminaron todo lo de la plataforma. No sé si ya les da la opción de poder ver su diploma o todavía no. No. No, no a, mí a mí todavía no. sale como que no. soy, como que soy, no sé okay. cómo, cómo aparece ahí. Es que a mí también me da no, eso. Porque dije, ¿será a mí o le voy a preguntar a todos mis compañeros? No, 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 a mí también. Okay, gracias. Thank you for your question. Okay, don't worry about that, right? Eh, casi es a la última semana que se habilita, ¿verdad? Que en las sí. últimas clases que se habilita la opción para ver su diploma. Just be patient. Again, be patient, please. Tenga paciencia. Si ya terminó su plataforma, eh, Ya está asegurado su diploma. Ahora solo hay que esperar que habiliten la opción. ¿De acuerdo? ¿Any other question? No, teacher. Ok, enjoy your weekend. See you on Monday at 8 o'clock p.m. See you on Monday. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Have a nice weekend. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. Emerita, do you have a question? Can I help you with something? Mm -hmm. 